Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Irfan CFPS. In today's session, we are going to look at the heat detector spacing requirements if your building is having solid joist construction or if it has beams. If you are new to my channel, make sure to hit the subscription button below and click the notification icon to know more about fire protection design concept. So regarding the common spacing rules between the heat detectors as per NFPA 72, we already discussed in our earlier class. Just for a thorough recap, please note heat detectors have a listed spacing of S which will be equal to 50 feet as per NFPA 72 and the distance between the heat detectors will be equal to SD which will be the design spacing. The radius coverage for any heat detector will be calculated by using the formula 0.7 by multiply by S. So heat detector spacing will be done in three steps. We already discussed in our earlier video. Basically the listed spacing will be reduced if the ceiling height is more than 3 meter height and also we need to apply additional reduction factor if the ceiling surface we have are like solid joists or beams. This particular topic we will look in today's session. So the table which I have shown on your screen will be used in order to reduce the listed spacing to design spacing. This has been discussed or explained in detail in our earlier video. So coming back to our today's topic impact of heat detector spacing due to solid joist construction in a particular building. Basically as per NFPA 72 the design spacing of the heat detectors will be calculated by using this particular formula. If the solid joist height is more than 4 inch and also the distance between the solid joist is less than or equal to 3 feet. I will explain you by an example so that you will easily understand the concept. You have a particular floor or a building which is having solid joist. Then now we need to know the distance between the heat detectors horizontally and along with the or parallel to the solid joist as well. For example, if this particular condition and this condition is satisfied for the solid joist, then we can use this particular formula. SD will be equal to, this will be SD that will be equal to 50 feet by 2. Since we already know 50 feet is the listed spacing as per NFPA 72 for the distance between the heat detector. So now if we calculate the design spacing which will comes around 25 feet. So here SD will be 25 feet. However, as per this particular sentence, no adjustment parallel to solid joist. It means this distance between the heat detectors will not change which will be S only. So that it will be listed spacing of 50 feet only. So this will be 25 feet and this will be 50 feet. If you have one more detector here, this will also be 50 feet. If you have one more detector here, the spacing between these detectors will be SD which will be of 25 feet. You can see the figure in our next slide. So as per NFPA 72 reference 17.6.3.2 uh, and figure we have you know shown this particular figure based on this figure we can calculate the distance between the heat detectors if you have solid joist in your particular building. In this slide we are going to look at the impact of heat detector spacing due to beams. If your particular building is having beams then this particular rule will be applied. So as you can see on your screen the design spacing between the heat detectors will be calculated by 2 by 3 of S. So this will be multiplied by S. So S will be the listed spacing we already know S will be 50 feet. So this formula will be applicable if your beam height is more than 4 inch and also 
the distance between the beams will be more than 3 feet. So, I have developed a figure based on NFPA 72 reference. Based on this particular figure, we can calculate the distance between the heat detectors and also the number of heat detectors if your building is constructed with beams. So, if your beam height is more than 18 inch and the distance between the beams is more than 8 feet, then we need to place heat detectors in each pocket as per NFPA 72 reference 17.6.3.3.1.3. In next slide, we are going to look at an example. So, we will do an activity now. For example, if a particular building having a dimensions of 70 feet and 30 feet also has steel beams depth of about 12 inch here and also the distance between these beams will be equal to 10 feet and the listed spacing between the heat detectors is 50 feet. The ceiling height is more than 3 meter which is about 4.57 meters. Then we need to calculate the number of heat detectors in this and also the spacing between the heat detectors for this particular building. So, I will just give you an hint so that you can easily do the calculation and put your solution or the results in the comment section. Then I will look into that and explain you whether your answer is correct or not. So, for example, as a hint, use the three step formula which I already explained in order to calculate the spacing between heat detectors. And also, please note there is a table in order to calculate the design spacing between the heat detectors if the ceiling height is more than 3 meters. And also, you have beams here. So, we already discussed if you have beams, the design spacing, we need to apply additional reduction factor and calculate the number of heat detectors and spacing requirements. I hope you enjoyed the content. In next class, we are going to look at the smoke detector spacing requirements as per NFPA 72. Thank you. If you are not subscribed yet to my channel, make sure to hit the subscription button below and click the notification icon to learn more about fire protection system design. You can find NFPA 13, 14, 20 and 72 courses for free available on my YouTube channel. Hopefully you understand the today's session. Thank you once again. Bye.